These days, all you hear people talking about is Facebook or some other type of social media. People are so hung up on being connected 24-7 with their friends or even total strangers. I'm here to warn you that not everyone is who they say they are. If you get an unexpected link and a message from a friend, do the smart thing. Ask them if they sent it to you or if they're getting hacked or something. Social media is rapidly growing. Make sure you can handle it. Hey bozos, listen here. If you want to get creeped down forever, don't listen. But if you actually have some smarts, but you actually have some smarts, so just don't use your real name. You could get, you could use, as, as like as an example, player 567 or cool dude. So here's an idea. Never put your family or security info on a social network. Facebook doesn't need all of that just because you feel that you need to get your name around. Attention anyone who has a Facebook. You shouldn't click on links that you don't know where they're from. I would, th I would thought that would be pretty obvious, but apparently it's not. So here's what you risk when you click on shady character links. Viruses, spam, or they might hack your stuff. People can make emails that look almost exactly like Apple or Adobe, which are um, trusted companies. So it's very easy to fall for them. Here is some advice. Delete all of your emails that, that, are, that aren't from your friends and family. You know about Facebook and Twitter. Perhaps you have an account. Have you ever thought about what you posted online? Do messages delete when you actually delete them? Uh, hackers can become your friends and then they can hack your account. Um, later the messages may reappear and embarrass you. Be careful who you make friends with and don't give up too much information. This is a public service announcement brought to you by Zaya in ACAP student day two. Do you know that being polite on a, on a social media network makes a big difference to how people think about you? If you are polite, people will think you are a nice person and they will be friendly. If you are mean and rude on a social media network, no one will want to talk to you or be your friend. They most likely won't be nice back and you will lose a lot of friends. Attention, social media has become very popular in the last few years. But did you ever think about what could happen if you were to tweet or post something that you don't want your parents, grandparents, or teachers to see? You could end up in a lot of trouble for posting and tweeting embarrassing things, especially if you wrote something mean to someone from school. So just remember to think about who will be reading it before you type it and act like you would in real life. This has been a public service announcement brought to you by ACAP. This is a public service announcement brought to you by Cassidy at ACAP. Do you have a Facebook, Twitter, or other social media account? Have you seen the messages going around saying, saying, I want an iPad? This one doesn't work. Now, you claim yours? It won't. Don't claim it because it is almost always a scam. And it's probably not from your friends, even if it says it is. It could get all of your info and invade your privacy. It could also ask for your credit card number and then use it to hack into your bank account. Today, I will be talking about teens and using social media. I'm Rodney at ACAP and I will tell you about caution when clicking on links on your computer. That's because bad that's bad because now you can get spyware bugs and viruses. Also they can put their friends and even themselves in danger. They might get their Facebook or Twitter hacks. Then people can check their pictures, private info and other things. This is, was a public service announcement to help you and your children. You should never discriminate on social media. It's good to open up and let people follow you or be friends with. Just make sure that this person or peoples are all right and safe, trustworthy. You should always be sure to stalk them to make sure that they're all right. You should never, ever, ever, ever give your personal information away to people you don't know. This message has been approved by the Anti-Zombie Cow Organization. This is a public service announcement brought to you by ACAP. Your parents tell you to be polite and use your manners. And, but on the internet, you can never be too careful. So be polite, introduce yourself, but don't get too personal. Don't share things you don't want others to know. Never share your last name, maybe even make up a screen name. Your privacy and safety is important, so don't tell a total stranger your address or phone number. 
Don't even give give someone you know personal information over the internet. For your safety, just just don't. Remember to be polite. Thank you. This is a public service announcement brought to you by Jemaya Aka. Do you have a Facebook, cell phone, Twitter, etc.? But everything you post and message stays on the internet forever. If your mom says don't cuss out in the real world, why hide it behind the computer? Maybe behind the computer is just like the real world. People can track down all naughty stuff that you put on social media for many years before. Many people are watching. When you allow certain social media websites to go through your email address book, they will have all the, your contacts on there forever, and they may send junk mail to all of your friends, trying to get them to download certain things or add, join their website. Uh, that could lead to your friends being uh, getting upset with you, and how popular all these social media websites are, getting wiser to put less and less information on there. So it would be wiser not to let them go through your contacts list. Thank you. You already know that what goes on the web stays on the web, but do you realize how important it is that you don't post something you will regret? You should always act like you would in real life. In fact, you should act better than you act in real life. Even though you are at home on a computer, doesn't mean they won't connect to what you say with what you are like and who you are in real life. And if you do something dumb online, then that's how people will see you as in real life, especially potential employers. So think before you type. This has been a public service announcement brought to you by Dairy Queen. So good, it's ridiculous. Always be careful when using nicks on the internet. Something that looks like it may be fun may be a virus. People can use techniques like this to gain access to your private information. If you're sent a link from a friend, always verify that it's real with the friend before using it. Never use nicks from people you don't know unless you're absolutely sure it is safe. Thank you.